Let's learn about conceptual understanding and procedural fluency in math. Most math standards and programs state that students should learn math with a balanced approach, encompassing both conceptual and procedural understanding to achieve true mathematical proficiency. We want our students to be mathematically proficient and be terrific real-life problem solvers and critical thinkers who are financially literate. You can think of conceptual understanding as the why and procedural understanding as the how. Conceptual understanding involves grasping the underlying principles, relationships, connections, and reasoning behind mathematical concepts. It's about understanding why a procedure works, not just what it does or how to perform an operation or algorithm. An example of conceptual understanding would be knowing that 10 can be decomposed or broken apart in a variety of ways. We can make 10 with 7 and 3. 5 and 5 also can make up 10. We can also make 10 with 9 and 1 or 6 and 4. 10 can be broken apart or decomposed in a variety of ways. We can be flexible in thinking about how to compose 10. An example of procedural fluency with 10 would be knowing that 6 and 4 make 10 because we can add on 4 to the 6 using the counting on strategy. 7, 8, 9, 10. Another example of conceptual understanding in math is knowing that multiplication is repeated addition. Seeing the connection or relationship between multiplication and addition. If I want to know the product to 5 times 5, I can add 5 groups of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I could also use an array or area model to figure out the solution for 5 times 5. An example of procedural fluency within multiplication occurs when I memorize my multiplication facts. I know that 5 times 5 is 25 because I memorized it. That is procedural fluency. Remember that math standards and programs stress the importance of students learning math with focus on a deliberate balance of conceptual and procedural knowledge. Why? If we only learn procedurally, memorizing facts, and using algorithms like the standard multiplication algorithm or the long division algorithm and we don't understand the foundational concepts of multiplication or division, then when we forget those memorized facts, which most likely most of us, will forget, then we don't have a pathway to figuring out the solution or we make mistakes when using the steps in the algorithm to solve the problem because we didn't truly understand why we were doing what we were doing. If I forget that six times seven is 42, which I might realistically forget if I only learned procedurally by memorizing my facts, but not understanding what multiplication is, then I'm out of luck. But if I learned conceptually all about multiplication and understand the concept of multiplication, then when I forget that multiplication fact of six times seven, I can use the conceptual reasoning that I had learned to figure out the answer. I could think well, I don't recall 6 times 7, but I remember that 6 times 6 is 36, and I know I just need one more group of 6 to find the answer. So 36 plus 6 equals 42. There's my 6 groups of 7. Or I could sketch an array of 6 rows of 7 squares and calculate my product as 42 using a visual approach. Conceptual understanding helps students learn more flexibly and retain knowledge better. Which should come first? Conceptual or procedural knowledge? We want to first help our students develop conceptual understanding in mathematics, which lays the foundation for success with procedural fluency. So again, our students grow into highly proficient mathematicians who can problem solve and be critical thinkers. Why does this balance of conceptual and procedural knowledge in mathematics matter? Deep learning. A balanced approach fosters deeper and most lasting mathematical understanding. Flexibility. Students can apply their knowledge to various problems and contexts. Problem solving. Students can better reason appropriate strategies. How do we achieve this balance? Start with concepts. Introduce concepts before procedures, allowing students to develop a solid foundation. Connect concepts and procedures. Show how procedures are derived from and relate to underlying concepts. Provide opportunities for practice. Offer ample opportunities for students to practice procedures in various contexts. Encourage reasoning and explanations. Ask students to explain their reasoning and justify their answers. 
Use visuals and manipulatives, employ visual aids and concrete materials to help students understand concepts.